this is me, Barbie. I'm just telling you this because um, a lot of you guys commented down below saying, I barely, you know, know you. Who are you? Tell me. I don't think you're Barbie. Look, guys, it doesn't mean I changed my outfit, so you might, you'll just think that I'm not Barbie. I'm some stranger who has hacked Barbie's channel. Oh, man, gee, call the police. No. I changed my outfit, and that's because I'm also a human, because I can just stay with one dress every day. Like, actually, I don't stay with one dress every day. I keep changing it twice a day. I'm so sorry to say that, but I do. So, I'm just telling you this, that in my last video, I changed my outfit too, but you didn't think anything. So, why only for the other one? I was quite stunned. And now, the video is going to be a tutorial, because a lot of you guys commented down below, I barely know anything, so why don't you look up for tutorials? So, like, I, even I was thinking, in my last three videos, I only made episodes, so this time, why can't I make, you know, a tutorial? So in this video, we're going to be doing a Barbie potted plant. You know, a Barbie potted plant, not the pot, potty thingy, a Barbie plant. So, which you can put beside your Barbie dollhouse entrance. It's a perfect fit for your Barbie doll. So, let's get on to the video. So, for this, you will be needing a straw, a green marker, a piece of paper, A scotch glue stick and at last but not the least a little pink pot it's your choice of what kind of pot you want I'm going out with this so pink one which I got <laughs> so it's basically not something I bought outside separately I got it okay I'll just tell you properly I, it's a cap as you can see inside, it's like that little spinning thingy. I'm using this cap because I thought it was, was perfect. I had a little pot, which is a real, like, little tiny pot. But I thought it's Barbie. It's Barbie's pot. So why, like, why should it be brown? And so I just went up to with this. And you will also need some mud, which I don't have right now. I'm just going to use it in the... I'm just going to, like, get it while we do the tutorial how to make it. So, let's get on to the video to know how to make it. So first, let's make the stem. For this, take your little straw and take your scissors. I didn't name the scissors and the materials because you don't, like, you know, everyone has a scissor in their house. Like, who doesn't? And sorry for the disturbance because Ken is fixing Chelsea cycle, which is so annoying. Stop again! Oh, fine. Now just snip it off. And the size of the thing you need. I'm making a plant which is like this. So I'm taking this much straw. And then the rest, you don't need the straw anymore. And now, just take the straw and put it aside. Next, what you have to do is take your piece of paper and take your green marker and make, make like little shapes of petals. So I'm making it quite long because we need it to be long. So just make it. Make as many as you want, it depends on how much you want your thing to be congested. And then go ahead and snip it up. So after you're done snipping them up like that, I made one, two, three, four, five, six. I made six of them. Uh, I'm done snipping them up and actually I made seven. Yeah, I made seven of them. So after you're done snipping them up, Take your green marker again, and then start filling them up with green, because obviously the leaves are green. All of them. 
like just color all of them with green. So after you're done with that, you'll end up with this. I have colored just one side of each petal, as you can see. But I recommend doing it to all the two sides because, you know, in every angle you see it, you need it, you need it to look like a potted plant. But I'm not doing that because I'm just going to put it in the corner of the house so we don't need to, like, you know, put it, like, so, you know, little thingy. So, uh, if you want to put it anywhere, everywhere you want, like, change its place every single time you play with your Barbie doll hauls, all you can do is uh, color both the sides. Okay. Now, after you're done with that, you're just going to assemble them together. And then, you're going to take the leftover piece of the paper. And, you're going to take the straw you just cut out. And you're going to keep it on the paper and measure the size. And after doing that, just cut this part out on that side. So now, as you can see, I measured it up and cut it. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your scotch glue that you assembled by your side, open it up, and stack it onto the paper. Uh, you can use any glue. I was just saying scotch glue because I feel like it sticks better. It sticks better. Yeah, so next, take your straw, place it over there, and then check if it's the right size, and then good if it is. And then turn it back over to the good side and take your marker and start coloring it. It doesn't depend on your coloring because you don't really think you need to cut. And then take it out, take your thing, and then push it in like that. Push it inside this thing and then take your marker and color the excess part which is not colored yet. Color like so. After doing that, you'll get something like this. As you can see, it's like this leafy type of texture, grassy texture. Uh, it has to look like grass, so I just put it. Okay, next. What you're going to do is you're going to take your little petals, which you colored, and then take it to the white side and glue half of it with some PVA glue or scotch glue. Uh, so just take it and glue and like that. So do the same to all the petals and stick it in different different places. Different places. So I'm next I'm picking this. Stop it, Ken! Stop making noise! Huh, good. You stopped making noise. Fine. And now, as you can see, this is done. And I have 
two more left. So this kind of looks like a cactus, so you don't want that to happen. So you're taking the other two which are left. I'm taking that. I don't know if two are left for you, but they're left for me. So I'm just using them on the empty places. So if you don't have them left and yours also looks like a cactus, all you can do is make more petals and then stick them onto the stack. So I'm just taking them, sticking them onto the thingy. So as I'm done with all of them, I have just one place which I have to fill, so I just made another. And here it goes, sticking. And if you feel your still looks like a cactus, all you can do is overlap the leaves with another leaf, other leaves, because you want it to be bushy, if you want it to be bushy. knocking the door. I know you fixed her cycle, so why do you have to show it to me? Go and show it to Chelsea. Um, okay. Great. Fine, that's done. So now, um, I just took some mud and put them in, and I also added some water so that the, you know, plant which we made can stick in. So now, as you can see, this is the plant I made. Now what I'm going to do is, for a proper sticking thingy, I'm just going to take some of the glue, PVA, whatever glue you use, you can do that. And then I'm using scotch, so I'm just st sticking some onto it, and then digging it inside, like that. So if you're done, you will end up with something like this. So guys, hope you like this little potter plant tutorial I came up with, and until then, see you in my next video. And don't forget to click the subscribe button down below, which you can see this side to this, to this side, to this side, yeah. Yeah, actually not to this side, down below, in the subscribe box down below. So, yeah. But if you want to subscribe manually, you just click on this button over here. So, yeah. Until then, see you in my next video. Woo!